Hi, it's Jeff again, and the last thing we want to talk about here in Prelude is just the ability for you to use markers and metadata to communicate with Premiere Pro. So we've seen that we can leave a, a sub-clip on clips, and we've done it now on a couple clips here, with the three clips I brought in. And you can see even on one clip I've got two sub-clips, let's, uh, I think it's this shot here. But we also can leave other sort of markers and metadata. In this case, I'd like to talk about particularly comments. Take a look at the default markers that are here. You can sit back and prepare chapter links or web links that you know you want. Speech transcription is huge, whether you want to do it as a transcribe using Adobe Media Encoder or whether you want to send it out for transcription. But I just want to focus here on comments. I'm going to hit the number two to put a comment here. And I'll say something like needs CC for needs color correction. And I'm going to go a little longer and I'll put an out point. I'm going to hit save. Again, with all these things we're saving, we're actually, as we do this, we're actually saving the file. We're modifying the file. So if you've been very sensitive to the dates on your media, you, you should be know it gets updated when this happens, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing you know it's been changed, but it's a bad thing because it's actually been changed. I'm going to hit save. This clip 59, when we get over into Premiere Pro, you can see the shot 59 now has that needs color correction marker on it. And I double click and you can see we have that information. The beautiful thing here is this level of communication where again, somebody can be out in the field and go, maybe make a comment here and call this windy and then come below and say something like, we're going to need to adjust for the wind. Let's make that windy up here. I'm going to go ahead and scrub later and put an out point. When I hit save, you're going to find out that the, I've hit save, command S on the Macintosh, control S on the PC. This marker is still going to keep its name, but the data is what's going to show up physically in Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and switch over. Here's 89. You can see we can need to adjust for wind, but the marker itself is called windy. Let's do just one more here. I'm going to go ahead and add another marker or two. Let's uh, add a marker and let's put it, call this something like make sky bluer. Save. When I get back over into Premiere Pro, it's there. I double clicked accidentally. It's there. There we go. Make sky bluer. Hey, I'm going to come back to Prelude. And I'm going to just add some extra information with that. I'm going to say make sky blue. And I'll say use some isolation to fix the sky to really make it pop. And you can see that this sort of metadata, it's really beautiful that it comes across to Premiere Pro in such a way. I'm going to hit again a save. I'm going to jump over to Premiere Pro. This is going to be updated. There's this two-way talking. You can even see it's been changed in the timeline in the rough cut I did earlier, which is part of this wonderful way of working. So you could be conceivably working in Prelude, logging and putting information. You could send a rough cut and let an editor start working on it. Meanwhile, you sit and go through later that night and mark up these shots using Prelude, you could then save each shot and the ripple of the effects will come back into Premiere Pro, allowing sort of this really great two-way workflow with this Prelude to editing that's called Adobe Prelude.